This is a print by Max Klinger. It is one of 15 prints he did illustrating the story of Cupid and Psyche. Now the story of Cupid and Psyche comes down to us from the novel The Golden Ass by Apuleius. It was written in the second century AD, but the story of Cupid and Psyche probably predates it. I love the fact that we're connecting to this story that's 2,000 years old, and to see how artists have recreated and reinterpreted it over the intervening centuries. It's interesting to note that Beauty and the Beast is a modern adaptation of that same story, but here we have a chance to look at Cupid and Psyche through the eyes of Max Klinger. He felt that painting and printmaking had totally different roles, that painting should be concerned with the natural world, whereas prints were particularly suited to embody the domain of fantasy. And so in a lot of Klinger's work, you get this sense that we're viewing a hyper-realistic dream. In fact, he said that that was his favorite moment of the day, the moment in the morning when he was just waking up and fantasies would be presented to him fully formed. And I think in this print, you get a sense of that, the sense of an image that comes to you full of tension and detail, but not quite really of our own world. One thing I love about him as an artist is that he was just a master of his medium. So the sky, for instance, behind Psyche is composed of these tiny little scratches. The sea is a broad mass of aqua tenting. And then he has this wonderful ornamental border that enhances the space. He includes images of plants and these wonderful tendrils curling around. But you'll also notice in the bottom left and bottom right corner, there are two animal skulls, which gives it a sense of foreboding and danger. I think viewers might relate to this print because Klinger creates such a strong sense of anxiety and foreboding. This is the moment when Psyche has been abandoned on this rock or cliff. She doesn't know what's going to happen to her. An oracle had said that a monster whom neither gods nor men can resist would find her there and take her away, and she has no idea what's to become of her. Now, I'm happy to tell you that the story has a very happy ending, but only after lots of adventures and thwarted love and jealousy and passion. But I think people can relate to that feeling that Psyche has there, not knowing what's coming next. 